Here's a pretty straightforward tone tip for you. Make sure that if you're doing any adjustments on your guitar from when it comes to sound, so your pickups, your strings, all that sort of stuff to try and find that direct, exact balance, make sure you look at these little guys, pole pieces. So if you have a guitar that has adjustable pole pieces on them, so if it's got something like P90s, humbuckers, filtertrons, all that sort of thing, then make sure you consider looking at those and sort of making minor adjustments to balance them all out for you know your style of playing, what you're playing through, all those sorts of things. Now for me, I am the lucky owner of this amazing Gibson ES175, which is an original one from 1956, and it's a fantastic instrument. I kind of don't really want to change anything about it other than just pulling a little bit of that woolly low end out. It's partly probably to do with my playing. I'm a little bit of a heavy, sort of heavy-handed player, but the way that I like my amp set for this guitar, um, I just need to take a little bit of that low end out. So what I'm gonna to do today is do a very, very straightforward adjustment of pulling the bass side pole pieces back, probably half to three quarters of a turn, just to stop that big kind of boomy, woolly low end coming through when you kind of hit those low notes. So we'll first of all have a quick listen to what it sounds like before I do the adjustment, then I'll do the adjustment and then we'll have another listen afterwards and see what the differences are. It'll be subtle and I think it'll definitely be more, more to my ear I guess in the room I'll be able to pick up on it more but it will definitely make a difference just because I've done it on a few other guitars and it's definitely helped. So let's see how we get on. So that's how it sounded before the adjustment. Uh, and what I'll do is I will also put up sort of a side-by-side -side comparison, uh, sort of maybe photos taken from sort of a side profile. So you can just see the subtle difference in the pole piece height once it's all done. Um, and you can kind of get an idea of just how small the adjustment, but sort of how big a change it can be. Um, uh, but we'll get to doing the adjustment now and we will uh, we'll see how we get on. So um, like I say, it's gonna be a small, um, amount of movement, so it's probably going to be, a, I reckon, about a half turn on each, um, maybe just a tiny bit more on the the, the, the low E string, just because it's the one that, you know, it's the one that kind of gets the brunt of the uh, of the attacking hand, shall we say. <coughs> um, so that's a half turn on that one, and then another half turn on that one. So yeah, they look even with themselves as they were before, just all of them just a touch lower, just so when I'm digging in a little bit, it's not booming so much. Um, and yeah, we'll uh, we'll have another play. I'll try and play a similar sort of thing to what I did before, so you can get an, uh, an idea, um, and we'll go from there. So straight away, in the room, it's always hard to get these, these things to come across uh, in the recording, but in the room, straight away, it's not so, I don't know, overpowering in my ears. It's not It's not kind of taking away from, you know, when I'm sort of hitting the, the higher strings, it's not just kind of wolfing, uh, woofing all over that and things like that. So straight away, that is a big, big improvement, at least to my ears, in the room. And hopefully you can hear that difference between the two. I can always do a proper little side-by-side -side comparison around now. So it's subtle but it's definitely there and you know, I might adjust accordingly as I go on, that's obviously just one small adjustment that I have made, but 
it's definitely something that you should not overlook when it comes to dialing in tones and things like that because different guitars, different amps, obviously different players as well is very much a, a factor. But sometimes, you know, it might be that if I plug this into another amplifier, it might still be too, too much low end. Um, this is going through a, a, a rat modded Blues Junior, um, which is 12 inch speaker. It's got a fair amount of low end anyway, but it's a great, great, great tone. And I absolutely love it overall. It was just a bit too overpowering. So make sure when you're finding out your tones and just figuring out kind of what's going to be right for you, look at those pole pieces if you have them on your pickups and just maybe do very, very subtle adjustments and see if that helps you out. As always, thank you very much for watching and if you can hit that subscribe button and, and you know share it with anyone you can because you just never know, they might just find their perfect tone just with a very, very small adjustment and we'll see you in the next video.